Formula 1 races are usually won by drivers who spend the entire race near the front. But there are times when they come back from poor positions. We've picked out the most extraordinary recoveries based on the 10 times drivers have won having been classified 17th or lower at the end of a racing lap, whether it was the result of a qualifying disaster, a strategic gamble, or a mishap. As a tiebreaker for instances of drivers winning from the same lowest position, we chose in the order based on which was the most impressive. Let us know in the comments below which win is your favourite. 10. Sebastian Vettel, 17th, 2013 Indian Grand Prix When a driver pits from the lead of a race after two laps, as Red Bull driver Sebastian Vettel did in the 2013 Indian Grand Prix, it's usually bad news. But in this case, it was a strategic decision. The soft tyres Vettel started on blistered quickly during free practice, so Red Bull decided to trim out the rear wing and fit a longer top gear ratio to be able to clear traffic. This allowed Vettel to make the early stop after building up a lead of almost 4 seconds, then get to the end with two more stints on medium rubber. Having quickly climbed the order through a combination of overtaking moves and others pitting, Vettel took the lead when teammate Mark Webber stopped. Although Vettel dropped to second again when he made his second and final stop, Webber's middle stint on softs, having started on mediums, lasted just four laps, meaning that once he had pitted again, Vettel was home free. Vettel ultimately won the race by 30 seconds, ahead of Mercedes driver Nico Rosberg after Weber retired with an alternator problem. What a way to clinch your fourth world championship. 9. Daniel Ricciardo, 17th, 2017 Azerbaijan Grand Prix Red Bull driver Daniel Ricciardo couldn't have had a worse start to the 2017 Azerbaijan Grand Prix. He started 10th after a crash in qualifying, then pitted on lap 5 to have some debris that was lodged in a brake duct cleared. Even he thought there was no way back. Ricardo was up to 9th having made his final pit stop when the safety car was deployed. He then gained 3 further places when Kimi Raikkonen's Ferrari shed bodywork and the two Force Indias of Esteban Ocon and Sergio Perez collided, causing the race to be red flagged. At the restart, he dived past Williams pairing Lance Stroll and Felipe Massa into the first corner to take third. With leader Lewis Hamilton having to pit to have a loose headrest fixed, and Ferrari Sebastian Vettel forced to serve a 10 second stop go penalty for deliberately hitting the Mercedes driver under the safety car, Ricardo was promoted to a lead he would never lose. 8. Sergio Perez, 18th, 2020 Secure Grand Prix. Sergio Perez was 18th and dead last after pitting to switch to mediums at the end of the opening lap of the 2020 Secure Grand Prix. This was a result of Charles Leclerc booting him into a spin on the first lap. But this also put Perez on what was effectively the best strategy, as he was able to get to the end with one more pit stop having got rid of the soft tyres. But to make the most of that opportunity, he had a lot of places to gain after the intervention of the safety car. Passing moves on Alex Albon, teammate Lance Stroll and Renault's Esteban Ocon were critical to his victory. But having got to the front of the midfield pack to run third, he also needed some help from Mercedes. George Russell, standing in for Lewis Hamilton, had the race under control with teammate Valtteri Bottas second, but a Mercedes pit stop mix-up under the safety car handed Perez the lead. With Russell soon back up to second and inching closer, a puncher for the Mercedes driver forced another stop and ensured Perez was home free. It was Perez's first F1 victory on his 190th start. It's also one of only five instances of a driver winning having run at the back of the pack, all of which appear in this video, including our next entry. 7. Jensen Button, 19th, 2010 Australian Grand Prix Jensen Button held 6th place in the wet early stages of the 2010 Australian Grand Prix, only his second start for McLaren. But his decision to pit for slicks before anyone else laid the foundation for a sensational victory. Button, always an excellent judge of the right time to make the tyre change, pitted at the end of lap 6. But he understood through the gravel at turn 3 on his outlap, which played a part in nobody else following him in on the next lap. From 19th and last place, Button's pace then immediately picked up. He had got the timing right, and by the time the rest of the field made their stops on laps 8, 9 and 10, Button was up to second place behind Sebastian Vettel. Vettel had a lead of just under 5 seconds and appeared to have the race under control when a front-left vibration started to manifest itself. 
He'd been called into the pits, but he didn't reach the end of the lap, as the cause of the vibration was the front left wheel working loose and then breaking its securing pins, sending him into the gravel. This gave Button the lead and a famous victory. 6. James Hunt, 19th, 1975 Dutch Grand Prix James Hunt's first Grand Prix victory, and the only in a World Championship race for the Hesketh team, was all down to the perfect timing of a switch to slick tyres. A heavy downpour had led to the start being delayed given a lack of wet practice, but by the time the cars were on the grid, the track was drying. Another light shower meant everyone committed to wets, and the race got going with Nicky Lauda leading for Ferrari. Hunt ran fourth behind Tyrrell's Jody Schechter and Ferrari's Clay Regazzoni, but he was the first to dive into the pits for slicks at the end of lap 7. He came out down in 19th place, but he'd sown the seeds for his victory. The other leaders waited too long, allowing Hunt to cycle through to the lead. But to win, he had to resist pressure from Lauda. Fortunately, Hesketh had committed to a full dry setup, while Ferrari had hedged its bets with a compromise setup, and Hunt hung on to win by a second. 5. Giancarlo Fisichella, 19th, 2003 Brazilian Grand Prix The race's technical expert Gary Anderson was the mastermind behind Jordan's victory in the 2003 Brazilian Grand Prix thanks to an inspired hunch that there was a high risk of the race being red flagged. He built the strategy on pitting as soon as it was possible to brim the tanks to still be out on track once the all-important 75% race distance mark at which a red flag race would not be restarted and full points awarded. The 2003 Jordan was not a good car, but it worked well at Interlagos. Giancarlo Fisichella had qualified 8th and held the position in the early stages. No wonder he was reluctant to stop when Anderson called him in under the safety car early on. Fisichella took the restart 19th and briefly ran last of all after teammate Ralph Furman crashed out with a suspension failure in a chaotic race, with the conditions catching out no less than Michael Schumacher. When Ferrari driver Rubens Barrichello retired from the lead having run out of fuel, this put McLaren pairing David Coulthard and Kimi Raikkonen out front, but Fisichella was up to third. Coulthard made his second stop on lap 52, with the charging Fisichella overtaking Raikkonen when the McLaren driver ran wide on lap 54. Then came the red flag Anderson was hoping for, caused by Mark Webber crashing his Jaguar heavily and Fernando Alonso collecting the left front wheel. Raikkonen was declared the winner on countback, but six days later, an FIA investigation revealed the countback should have gone back to one lap later, making Fisichella the winner. 4. Fernando Alonso, 20th, 2008 Singapore Grand Prix The 2008 Singapore Grand Prix is perhaps the most infamous in Formula 1 history, with Fernando Alonso's victory for Renault facilitated by teammate Nelson Piquet Jr. being ordered to crash deliberately. Alonso had seemed a potential pole threat, but a fuel feed problem left him 16th on the grid. A plan was concocted by team principal Flavio Briatori and executive director of engineering Pat Simmons, whereby Alonso would make an unusually early pit stop and be in position to profit from the resulting safety car after Piquet's crash. The plan worked perfectly, with Alonso dropping to 20th and last after making his stop, but he cycled through to 5th as others stopped under the safety car. He then moved into the lead as those who had stayed out gradually made their single stops, allowing him to build up enough of a lead to make his second stop and retain first place. Despite the manipulation of the race, which you can find out more about in our video on the 10 biggest controversies in F1 history, the win stood. 3. David Coulthard, 20th, 2003 Australian Grand Prix McLaren duo David Coulthard and Kimi Raikkonen started the 2003 Australian Grand Prix 11th and 15th respectively, but perfectly timed their change to dry tyres after a damp start. Raikkonen came in at the end of the formation lap, while Coulthard took the plunge at the end of lap 1. That dropped into 20th and last, but he made quick progress as his tyres got up to temperature and others made their stops for slicks. He was up to 7th by the lap 11 restart after a safety car period caused by Rubens Barrichello and Ralph Furman crashing. The key to Coulthard's win was keeping his head on a messy day. Teammate Raikkonen picked up a pit lane speeding penalty, Michael Schumacher had to pit with bargeboard damage after a tough battle with Raikkonen and Juan Pablo Montoya spun away the lead under pressure from Coulthard 11 laps from the finish. But Coulthard made no such mistakes to take his 13th and final F1 win. 
2. Jensen Button, 21st, 2011 Canadian Grand Prix. As a rule, any one of colliding with your teammates, tipping another rival into a spin, speeding in the pits and earning a drive through penalty, dropping to last, making a total of five pit stops and starting the last lap in second place are usually a setback to a driver's victory hopes. In a 2011 Canadian Grand Prix that was as absurd as it was astonishing, Button somehow combined all of these things and turned them into victory. Accidentally forcing Hamilton into the pit wall in wet conditions led to an early safety car, with Button pitting to change to intermediates. It was the right call, but a speeding penalty forced a drive-through that relegated him to 15th. Things got worse as, after a two-hour stoppage, he tipped Alonso into a spin at turn three. That gave Button a puncture and forced him back to the pits, dropping to 21st and last. But a well-timed pit stop for Slicks helped him to cycle back up to fourth place. On a drying track, he passed Mark Webber and Michael Schumacher to run second at the start of the last lap. Vettel then had a half spin at turn six under pressure, allowing Button to take a most unlikely victory. 1. John Watson, 22nd, 1983 Long Beach Grand Prix McLaren, like most on Michelin tyres, struggled in qualifying for the 1983 Long Beach Grand Prix. That left John Watson and Nicky Lauda 22nd and 23rd on the grid. But in the race, it was a completely different story. Watson initially held 21st place before slipping behind Lauda to run 22nd for a couple of laps. It soon became clear that the McLarens were now lapping as quick as the leaders, but with significant ground to make up. Fortunately, they were helped out by a chaotic race. Early on, Ferrari driver Patrick Tombe and Williams' Keki Rosberg battled for the lead, with the latter surviving a first lap spin while trying to make a pass. They eventually came together on lap 25, putting Tombe out on the spot. Rosberg then clashed with teammate Jacques Lafitte while disputing the lead in the aftermath of the collision, catching out Ligier driver Jean-Pierre Jarrier. Lafitte continued, Rosberg retired on the spot and Jarrier stopped shortly afterwards. Ultimately, the race settled down with Lafitte leading from Brabham driver Ricardo Patrese. The McLarens were flying behind, hacking almost half a minute out of Lafitte's lead, with Watson passing louder in the process. Watson moved up to second when Patrese had a trip up the escape road while trying to take the lead, then passed Lafitte for first place. Lauda got up to second, but was suffering from cramp and was no threat to Watson, who won by 28 seconds. As Watson said after his remarkable race, don't ask me how I did it. Don't forget to have your say on these wins in the comments. And if you enjoyed our look back at these improbable victories, remember to like and subscribe.